Hello, I'm Keith Ford. I'm Steve Ostrom, and we're here at Rock Island Auction House to bring you another gun from the vault. Mr. Keith, what do you got today? Well, Mr. Ostrom, we have a very, very unique prototype of just a couple hundred that were made. This is a Mauser 1912-14. Now, if you're familiar with the model 1910, which was a 25, right. and then the 1914, which was a 32, then that's the little Mauser pocket pistols. Well, Mauser decided that they wanted to up it up to a nine millimeter. So I've they, seen plenty of the others. I've seen yeah. them all over the place at gun shows and that, but I've never seen a nine millimeter version. Me either. And this is one of the very few that made it into the U.S. I believe that there was a total of nine, so eight or nine here sold in the United States. They sold States. them commercially? Yes. Yep. Wow. Very, very limited, but this right here is number 31 of the prototypes and very unique piece. I mean, if you've ever seen the 1910s and the 1914s of smaller, you know, just little nice size best pocket guns. Right. It's and everything. thin, so I imagine yeah. it's a single stack Th gun. Yep, but this one right here is quite a bit larger. They've beefed it up up here, beefed up the slide, uh, still has the same takedown principle of the Mauser pocket pistols as your takedown lever right here. And over here, the safety is the same. Drop that down, drop it off a safe, right there. Now, this has a unique feature, which has a slide lock, which is right here. Try to pull that, pull the slide back, and it won't go. Push down on this release, and then that slide comes back. Right. Now, we won't pull this back all the way because you have to have the the mag to release the slide on these, for which this one does not. Uh, but still though, this would be about a $20,000 gun for just this little piece right for here. For the rarity, I'm for sure it is to any Mauser Absolutely, collector. yeah. And really neat. I mean, it's Waffen Fabric Mauser, Obendorf. I mean, it's it's just a, a hoss of a Mauser pocket pistol. There's a lot of steel in that gun. Yes, a lot. It looks lot. almost like it was meant to be a service pistol or something, as yep. big as it is. Mm -hmm. You see where the lightning cut's made right here, where yeah. this is dished out. Uh, but yeah, it just looks like a 1914, it's on steroids. But nice smooth finish, commercial yeah. type finish. Yep, it's nice niter blowing on the trigger right here. And this little bit of niter still left back here on sure. the mm -hmm. heel release and up here on the takedown. And I think those Grips were a lot crisper back in the day. Nice crisp yeah. checkered walnut grips. But really, really neat, rare piece. That is a nice gun. That's very nice. Pretty amazing to see something like that floating around. Yeah, that's just a rare as a hen's tooth there. Yeah. All kinds of things going on in this mm -hmm. gun. A lot of machine work and time went into those. And there's the Mauser's patent right mm -hmm. there. You know it's got to be good if it says that. But the workmanship on that is typical pre-war excellence. Yeah. It's beautiful. That's a nice piece. That's yep. an interesting gun. Very interesting. But just didn't make it into full production. Apparently it didn't sell well. Nope, they sure didn't. And that's just a, a super rare piece now. Of only one that was ever made into the U.S. out of eight. Collector's dream. Yeah, I wonder whatever happened to the other ones. No telling. We'd like to thank you for tuning in and checking out this little Mauser 1912-14 prototype 9mm. And we'd especially like to thank Rock Island Auction House for letting us come out and peruse through their firearms and their cannons that they have in this coming up premier auction. Thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in again whenever we bring another gun from the vault.